Uh, Kenneth Smith is being executed, despite the fact that 11 of the 12 jurors in his case voted for life. So this is a person who never should have been sentenced to death in the first place. Uh, but Alabama had a requirement, I'm sorry, Alabama had a law that permitted the trial judge to override the recommendation of the jury. It no longer does that. Uh, it is impermissible, uh, and no state in the United States uh, permits a judge to override a jury vote for life. Uh, but Alabama, after abandoning that process, uh, has refused to overturn the death sentences uh, of the individuals who were sentenced to death uh, in, um, in essentially violation of the community's judgment. Uh, the, the process is one in which you put a gas mask over a person's face. Uh, and that gas mask will contain oxygen, and then that will be replaced with nitrogen. The theory is uh, that the person will inhale the nitrogen, which is odorless and colorless uh, and, um, and doesn't have a taste, uh, and it also uh, is present in the air that we normally breathe. Uh, they will substitute the oxygen for the, substitute the oxygen with nitrogen. Uh, and the person, uh, the theory goes, will quickly pass out. Uh, and then die. That's not what the scientists say, though. What the veterinary medical people say is that you can expect a nitrogen euthanasia process uh, to take upwards of seven minutes. So it's not you just quickly go to sleep. And the reason they don't recommend it for the use of, with large mammals is that the animal is aware uh, and uh, not just conscious, but uh, but panicked and experiencing extreme anxiety uh, during that process. Ex Kenneth Smith's execution risks to be a milestone execution, if it happens, because it sets a new standard. It lowers humanity at the level of, the, of a state that has a frenzy and uh, a killing fury against one individual, trying to kill him twice after a terrible botched execution that lasted for four hours.